Hey guys, today I will show you how to display your data in two or more different data slices or metrics without the need for adding additional visuals. It's very common ask to show, for example, sales by amount or order volume, or maybe revenue by business function or region. As a good dashboard designer, you don't want to overwhelm your users with the number of visuals you are presenting and want to keep your dashboard as simple and clean as possible. That's why instead of just adding more visuals, we will make a use of QuickSight parameters to dynamically generate our dashboard contents based on user selection. To illustrate it, we'll use sales example that I just mentioned. So we will display the data by sales volume or sales amount. Let's take a look at the final results on the screen. This dashboard allows users to toggle between viewing sales by amount or order volume with all visuals updating dynamically based on their selection. Notice how the entire dashboard recalculates when switching the dropdown. Plus, with parameters in place, we can dynamically update chart titles as well. If you are curious to see how it is done, this video is for you. First, let's create a parameter and name it dimension. Set its type to string and let's assign a default value of amount. This will be the default value that displays in our dropdown when user opens the dashboard. Directly from this screen, we can create a control that allows users to interact with our parameter in the UI. Let's name it, for example, select view. You can always change this name later if needed. We will set it up as a dropdown with the following options. Amount, which is matching our default value that we set up in the step one, and volume. You can add as many options as you want here. Now we can see that the control is visible in the UI, but switching options doesn't trigger any changes yet. To make our dropdown functional, we need to integrate our parameter into the calculated field. And that brings us to the step three. Click Add Calculated Field. This calculated field will determine which metric to display based on the selected parameter. If the parameter is set to amount, we will aggregate the amounts. If it's set to volume, we will count distinct order numbers. Now we need to replace the static fields in our dashboard with this dynamic field that we just created. And finally, let's make our chart titles dynamic. Simply double click on the title and on the right hand panel, you'll see the option to use parameters. This ensures the title updates automatically whenever you switch the selection in the control. We can test the dropdown now. We can see that both charts and their titles are getting updated based on user selection. So everything works as expected. That's it for this video, guys. Let me know in the comments if it was helpful and see you in the next one soon.